BMO 30 watt. We're gonna upgrade this to be able to do a production style acrylic cutouts. So you're gonna pull the, pull this tray out. Undo your four nuts back here. Now, I'm going to take a tape measure. You want to measure from the front side to the back side. And you want to find a piece. You can either use plastic or wood. I'm using HDPE just so that it won't flex uh, between the hot and cold changes while the laser's running. That runs the full length here, inside to inside. And then you wanna measure your holes here and your holes here so that you can have something static that every time you take the piece in and out, you can drop bolts in here that will fit. That way you get repeatable drop in. All right, so here, I just went ahead and did it on the X-Carve. Uh, CNC is gonna be a lot more accurate than if I did it by hand. Essentially, here's my plastic piece. It's machined out to fit the M5 screws, which will allow me to repeatably drop this plate in and get it in the exact same spot because that is the key to this, is that you can drop it in and out and it go back to the exact same spot. Here. piece in. Now, another small pro tip here. I put this up on two by fours so that I could get up underneath this pan. Drop these in. Tighten down. Now you can turn on the beam out. And essentially what I've done is I've taken a eight by 10 acrylic sheet, and this is what I wanna be able to cut out every time. So I have already created the file on the BMO or Beam Studio, and I went ahead and did the full cutout with the image engraved and the cut. I went to the center of that file and I put one dot and cut it out. And that gave me the center on this plastic, and it will make much more sense once we get to this next part. All right, so once you have your plastic piece in, you would use Beam Studio. You've already created your file. You can see where I've used this before. And center a dot in the middle of your cutout file. And then we pulled this back out, stuck it inside the CNC machine, and we now had a marked center point. So then we cut out and built five raised up corner pieces that will elevate our plexiglass and hold it dead center every time. Now I have a perfect assembly that will allow me to drop in a piece of plexiglass over and over and over. Another pro tip is upload your Beam Studio file, export it as a flux task to a USB and plug the USB into the back of your BMO. Look back here, you have the USB, which will have your files you've exported to it. So with the USB and all your files uploaded, you do not need to connect a computer and there is no centering of the project. That project is centered on top of my HDPE block piece. So when you want to load a file, you drop your 
acrylic piece in, press start, USB drive, and I'm going to click learn to trace letters. And then you just press start. And I can do this over and over and over. Extremely repeatable. You can pop the HDP e piece out and drop your standard bottom plate in. Another pro tip, you need a magnet. If you look right here, the stock bottom tray, this is a magnet so that it knows that the bottom tray is in. If you, underneath, stick a magnet right there. Right there. You can see the magnet underneath there. It will not work without that. So, <clears throat> there's the magnet right there. If I press start, it's going to throw code 903, closed door to continue. You take this magnet. Now when you press resume, you're going to some cuts. So now, all you do is pull this piece out, you throw your next piece of plexiglass back into here, shut the machine, and then you just click retry.